Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I am here in Edinburgh at the Museum Context Shop. So if you want to come along and shop with me in one of Scotland's most magical shops, well, keep on watching. Let's go inside. Start off outside because the window displays on this shop are absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to show you those in a little bit more detail. First window, which is so magical, and we've even got like the tails of beard with bard in there. We've got a little taxidermy owl, lots of potion bottles, many potion bottles. In fact, there's some advanced potion making all sorts so i'm very excited to see what is inside this shop this is the other window there's even a nimbus 2001 in there more books hedwig and so even some magical instruments which look pretty cool and of course a trunk full of things for your trip to hogwarts i am so excited to show you guys this shop it's very magical there's a lot to see so if you do visit definitely take your time now i am not here alone i am joined with a very magical friend this is rodney you may have seen him on my channel before he is one spell away on Instagram I will leave him and all his links down below as well as the links for this wonderful shop if you would like to shop here and find it on your Edinburgh trips so we're gonna have a look there are three floors here in fact I can tell you what is on each floor because they have a very useful sign so if you want to have a little browse with us then yeah let's go I'm so excited there's a lot here this is so excited you're very excited <laughs> so here there are three floors to explore so there is the second floor there's the first and the ground you can have a little pause to see what's on each floor if you like well, I'm gonna take you around all of them anyway but as you come into the shop we are greeted with every kind of wand that you could imagine we've got a lot of the fantastic beast ones here at the front we've got a lot of ones that you all know and love from Harry Potter all of these ones as well so many which one's your favorite Rodney Pick a wand, any oh, wand. My favourite. Oh, I do enjoy Slughorn's wand. It's Ooh. just so cool and different and unique and yeah. That is a very good one. Really interesting. I am a big fan of Nymphadora Tonks. I don't actually own that wand. Maybe I should get it. I like it. Um, they've also got a lot of the wand displays up here, which is pretty cool. Now, this section has some lovely books on here. Some of my favourite covers and illustrated editions by Mina Lima. Um, these have given me so much joy reading them again with all of the interactive sections. They're so cool. I'm very excited for the next one to come out. Um, now this is exciting and <laughs> I'm guessing you can probably only get this in Scotland or you might be able to find it in online. But this is Harry Potter Scots edition. So the entire like book <laughs> is Scottish. Very amusing. I've definitely bought one of these for myself as a little memento of visiting here. Um, but yeah, there's many different books. I mean, look at how gorgeous this shop is and all of the decor. There's a lot of vintage things, lots of magical books. You've really got to properly look around to spot everything here. And this is very nice. What have we got over here, Rodney? I love these books. Like This one caught my eye. It looks very pretty. There's even like some magical like handmade apothecary, there's herbalism, hetero mm. apothecary, so in witchery books. This so, yeah. one has caught my eye. This one's really pretty. It's a witchcraft book. I think I might have to get that. That's very pretty. They've even got like tarot thing, like tarot decks and little books of tarot and like crystals, loads of little gems palmistry a lot of witchy things so it's not just potter in here but there's plenty for everybody which is really cool a lot of beautiful dried flowers as well like there's just so much to look at one of my favorite sections in here is over here they've got like these very cool vintagey looking like curiosities all these kind of equipments that maybe you could see in Dumbledore's office perhaps like all these magnifying glasses there's even like little vintage globes and oh, look at all those suitcases they're so cool Rodney's pointing at this which is do you want to talk a little bit about this whistle there's one here actually yeah so it looks like this is very similar to the whistle that Madame Hooch blows from the film so I didn't realize Penny's called a Bosun's whistle? Yeah. If that's correct. 
So it's very similar to that. It's, it's not exactly the same, but it's very, very similar. So if you because, want a replica, yeah. Yeah, we notice that there's a little anchor on here, which I don't think is on the one in the films, but it's very, very close. So if you do want one, um, then you can get one of those here. This is a little closer look at the front desk in here. There's, um, that's disgusting, flopper worm mucus. Hmm, delightful. There's also armadillo bile, which is tonic. So many potions around here. What have you found? A Hufflepuff patch, yes, very nice. Oh, we've got some like jewelry and stuff in here, which is very nice. Got a flying key necklace, all sorts of goods. Time turner earrings, Death Eater mask necklace as well. And one of our favorite things that we are obsessed with in here are these tote bags. They're museum context Edinburgh tote bags. And the way they're printed is really lovely. And yep, you were very kind to give us some of these. Thank you, Connor. <laughs> this is Connor, um, one of the wizards at the shop. Um, so yeah, like, as I said, make sure you lo look up in here because look at all these kind of mobiles. There's a solar system one. There's even like little hot air balloons. There's just so much to look at. So it's definitely worth taking your time here. And I think we are gonna move and have a little nosy upstairs because there's other floors. Uh, one thing that made me laugh a lot earlier were these cat portraits of Harry Potter characters. Um, they've got like <laughs> Professor McGonagall or how would you say that? Like Professor Meowgle. <laughs> Um, there's like Dumbledore as a cat, um, Sirius and Snape, uh, Hermione, Ron, Luna. <laughs> oh, these are great. I love these. Definitely going to pick some of those up. And you can even get prints of them if you want, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, now here we come to like a cabinet with very many shiny things in here. So you can get your time turners. Um, there's a really lovely hourglass back there. Also, you can probably see me in the mirror. Hi! It's a 30 minute hourglass and things like this in the shop are for sale, like they're really cool. Um, but there's some noble collection bits, there is some more jewellery bits and lots of things like that. And there's lots of cards here, lots of mugs and then I guess we can go upstairs. Firstly, can we talk about all of these flying keys? <laughs> that are just floating around. Lots of these, that's gorgeous as well. Oh, what a pretty shop. Plenty of butter beer if you're thirsty whilst you're here. Oh, I didn't notice these earlier. <laughs> You've seen these? <laughs> there is more owls. This is a beautiful oh, taxidermy owl. Too. That's very nice. There's lots of owl statues as well. Right, let's go on up. There's so much to look at. There's just so much stuff. There's a lot of tea towels up here, kind of like, oh, art prints. Very nice. So if you want to like have a little souvenir of your visit, there's plenty to pick from. Right, so this is the first floor that we've got up to. Um, so this is upstairs. This is the second room, so we're about to walk in. And to our left, there is quite a lot of Mina Lima things. There's a lot of stationery in here. I love the Mina Lima notebooks. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites. A History of Magic. Do you have a favorite notebook or postcard from my room in here? I really like this one. I bought this because this is like a replica version of... Defense Against the Dark Arts Basics with Beginners. It's the one that Umbridge <laughs> adds nice. part of the syllabus. I do like that. Um, there's also Hogwarts A History as well. And many Hogwarts textbooks. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite sections. Uh, <laughs> I really, really like all of these greetings cards. Uh, I like buying these um, to send to you guys, actually. You guys that are watching, when I do giveaways, I love sending cards and writing to you. Um, like, oh, I love these little hot air balloons, very nice. So yeah, these are all the kind of shells. Lots and lots of potter bits. So much to see. Oh, see, I just have my eye on things like that. They've got hidden curiosities everywhere. So much stuff. <laughs> mm, very nice. Got some pencil cases and some stationery. Jumbo marbles. They're very pretty. They remind me of my youth. Lots of books here about like Scottish folk tales, which is pretty cool. Dracula. Frankenstein, 
Woman in White, so much stuff. Oh, I just love these. Look, a desktop globe. You can get that for £59. It's really nice. It's a real wooden base as well. Just love this kind of stuff. I want to make my whole house like Dumbledore's office. We've got a case of beasts over here so you can get some plushies. Not sure you'd find um, a woolly wonder sheep in Newt's case, but <laughs> they do do those here. And we've got Picket. So that's quite nice. There's just so many things to look at. Look at all this. It's very beautiful. Lots of quills, all the stationery. We've also got the illustrated Harry Potters, which are nice. Oh, I want, I want this. <laughs> so much stuff. Oh, what have you got down there, Rodney? So this is Newt's bow tie. It's quite a, well, I would say it's an accurate replica. Of Screen his, accurate. Yeah, from his, from the first film. Yeah, is down for thirteen ninety five. So that's by Cine Replicas, which that. is quite nice. I've not seen this pen before. <laughs> that's a bit of fun if you're a big bow truckle slash picket fan. And there's some lots of mugs, quills. Wow, they even have the big Hogwarts Castle replica in here. That's pretty impressive. I don't have that. I don't think I will add that to my collection, but it's quite impressive. It's quite large. <laughs> um, wow, even this is for sale. That's cool. Another curiosity, £69. And they've even got loads of like prints dotted around, Mina Lima prints. So you can get those from here. I've just spotted a giant, <laughs> is that like a dragon's tail or something? Or is it oh, like basilisk. A, bas a basilisk? Is that, a yes, oh, we'll have to find a basilisk kid. He was going around the shop, which is cool. Let's take a little look over here. Oh, a Titanic pocket book. I like these. This is quite cool. This is um, like a letter kit. Um, I think this is for, that's either an inkwell or maybe wax seals. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, that's definitely for wax seals. You can see all the little metal stampers. Do like a wax seal. There's the little wax beads, so you'd heat them up in there and then, so it's a nice little letter kit in a wooden box, which you can get. Again, more globes more things lots of quills love these these are very nice a quill pen might have to get myself one of those as well even more quill kits look at this book this is very cool and a little cat is that meant to be like <laughs> it looks very similar to McGonagall yeah. yeah like the wand in the mouth oh does it come out I'm not gonna pull it out but that's quite cool look at this a reader's glass Oh, that is gorgeous. I love this and would like to take it home. <laughs> That's so pretty. So you can get that for £155. This is um, an armillary sphere. It's really cool. I like that. A lot more Mina Lima limited edition prints. So we've got the chocolate frog one in here. That's number 73 out of 1000. We've got Tales of Beetle the Bard. So much stuff got robes and jumpers, backpacks. Is what is up pants? here? It's all very pretty. Very cool. You can get some hats. This is cool that I'd not actually seen before. This is um, the old kind of branding, but this is a Hogwarts necktie and pin. Oh, they've actually got one here as well, which is like a Deathly Hallows necktie. Very nice. More Mina Lima little fireplace with only one Hogwarts acceptance letter. I think they need more coming through there. <laughs> Lots of these suitcases, which is cool. We've also got some more Noble Collection items from their Magical Creatures range. Don't have this one in my collection yet, but I really do love the Fwooper. <laughs> They've got all the house editions as well of the Harry Potter books. So if you want some of those, you know where to come. Like, oh, these vintage books just make me so happy. There's just so much to see here. And you could definitely take your time having a little browse around the shop. Oh, I've just spotted a Marauder's Map up here, which is all spread out. That's pretty cool. But I think that I am going to go and find... Hello. <laughs> I think I'm going to go find that basilisk. You made it this way for your free photo op. Okay, so this is the photo area. So we can go up the stairs and I may have just found the quite large life-size <laughs> basilisk head. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna call him like Bertie the Basilisk. He's quite, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we have got 
A mirror. And oh, we can see Rodney. We'll go see him in a minute. It says, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. There's um, quite a creepy Dementor there. We've got lots of posters here as well. Many. Ma oh, that's cool. A Flourish and Blots poster, like an advertisement poster. Are you getting on with your schoolwork? Oh, just interrupting me during my busy Hogwarts schoolwork. <laughs> so this is the photo op section. You can literally come up here, take a seat, be a Hogwarts student if you wish, uh, next to Hedwig. And uh, I mean, that's not really Douglas, is it? But it's a, it's almost Douglas, the demigods. And then, yeah, you can do it here. And then when you pan over, you can have a little photograph in the mirror, <laughs> which is quite cool, um, if you wish. It's very dungeon-esque. I feel like this is what the Slytherin common room would kind of feel like, especially with that basilisk. So yeah, a little photo, a little photo op. Let's go back down. So that's pretty much the whole shop. But look, don't take my word for it. You've got to come visit here because as I said, there's so much to see. I've probably missed quite a bit because there's so much to take in here. You've got to look up, down, all around. Um, I normally take like a few goes going up and down and re-looking at everything because you can definitely miss things because there's a lot of curiosities here. Let me tell you, lots of magic. And I definitely recommend it if you're here in Edinburgh. It's one of the best magical shops there is here. And they also have a companion store, which I do believe is on Cockburn Street. This one's 40 Victoria Street. They're not too far to walk to and from. So yeah, in case you didn't know that they had a companion store, you do now. So definitely go check that out as well. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. <laughs> Let me know what you think in a comment down below. And if you have any plans to come and visit Museum Context, I would definitely recommend it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful shop. And let me know if you have plans to make a visit and I will see you very soon. Bye.